Hello everyone, welcome to Magical Fluency. Today, I'll review two major proofreaders, Grammarly versus Pro Writing Aid in 2022. I have done a review on them in 2020 and 2021, and now we will be focusing on Grammarly versus Pro Writing Aid Battle 2022. A lot of other YouTube videos do not show everyone the behind-the-scenes testing, so consumers do not even know what the proofreading tools can't catch. That is not convincing enough, especially when those videos are affiliated or sponsored. On the contrary, this video ensures that the test can be done fairly because there are no sponsors, no affiliated links, I will even show you the testing procedures behind. A lot of people already know what is Grammarly. A simple YouTube search, BOOM! Grammarly advertisements. Providing aid does not have a lot of advertisements, as on the website it said, its price is reasonable because they won't spend all the money in advertising. Similar to Grammarly, providing aid is also a piece of proofreading software. But is Grammarly or providing aid better in terms of catching grammar and spelling mistakes? In today's test, we will find out. We have a total of 100 sentences. In each of the sentences, there is one mistake. I'll calculate the final score by seeing how many correct suggestions they will give. What I will do now is to copy all 100 sentences from this document into Grammarly and ProWriting Aid editors. I will also bring out 4 correct sentences and see if the proofreaders wrongly flag this as an incorrect sentence in order to do the false positive tests. The test will be very accurate given the amount of mistakes that we put into the test. So should we start now? Future Ellen is going to put it in a fast forward mode so that you don't have to see it or wait for half an hour or whatever it takes to complete the tests. Let's get started. Woohoo! I finally completed the test, and let me calculate the accuracy now.
Right, so this accuracy is 75% for Grammarly. That means every four mistakes that you make, Grammarly is going to help you correct three of them. That's quite good. But then for writing aid, the accuracy is only 48%, which is actually fail because like my standard would be I, I expect the proofreaders to at least catch like um 50% of the mistakes but then it only got 48% marginally fail but then it's um still okay because it still can help you correct some basic mistakes basic spelling mistakes but a lot of times if you're dealing with more advanced grammar grammarly is still better uh in terms of the results and accuracy and also, as we've mentioned, that we need to do the false positive tests. We can directly, uh, let me just find some, okay, maybe four of them. So if it wrongly flags anything in these four sentences, then it's going to be bad. So let's see. Now, I'm not sure about Grammarly bit, but then let me first have a look at providing A. Let's see if there are any... Okay, that's, it told me that 2 is not required, but then of course this is not required, but then if you contain 2, it's also okay. Uh, because it, it can be in the form of bad infinitive 2, so it actually wants me to uh, have better readability, so it's okay. And then, okay, excellent, providing it did not wrongly flag anything from these four sentences, as we can see this is actually just not part of the sentence that I want to test, so it's okay. Now let me have a look at Grammarly. Grammarly also very good. It does not wrongly flag these as some correct suggestions. So I think that's it. That would be the case of Grammarly versus providing aid. Uh, for the false positive test, uh, that it's a tie because all of them is 100% correct. Uh, but then for accuracy test, um, Grammarly still is still better than providing aid, just like the previous years. I'm not sure whether providing aid is going to be better next year, but then for this year, Grammarly still wins. Also, um, next year, if I can find a proofreader that is better than providing aid, then maybe I'm not going to use providing aid anymore. So yeah, thanks for watching the Magical Fluency. Um, remember to subscribe and like the video if you do. 